Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can check to see if your iPhone 13 has been in contact with water or if it has been water damaged or even if it has been in contact with just moisture like in the bathroom that can cause the water indicator uh, to go pink or red. So what you need to do is turn your phone upside down and we need to open up the SIM tray. So I'm going to use a SIM pin and remove the SIM tray. Okay, so we pull out the SIM tray and inside your SIM tray there is a white stickers underneath here and you need to use a flashlight. So we need to use a flashlight and then we need to shine into the slot right here and you are trying to look for a red sticker if it's white that means it's all good if it's red or pinkish that means it is in contact with water okay just to show you what the sticker look like you can see here this is on all the model iPhone 6 if I zoom right in you can see there is a sticker at the top and at the moment it is red and that means it's indicating this part of the phone has been in contact with either water or moisture. Now on the SIM tray right here, you can see if I look through it and it's at an angle, you can see just below here there is a white sticker right here. And this white uh, sticker indicate this part of the phone hasn't been in contact with water, whereas at the top it has been, it could be just moisture causing the sticker to go pink okay so let's go back to our iphone 13 this is the iphone 13 pro so if we shine the light at a correct angle like so you should be able to see the white stickers so right there if you look carefully you can actually see it so you need to move your flashlight up and down like this just so that you can see it I can see it right there so you can see the white part right there in the middle so that right there is indicating this phone hasn't been in contact with water so right at the center at the bottom trade that's the white part right there that's the part that will tell you if your phone has been in contact with water or not so I'm just gonna zoom or move closer to the camera so you can see it better now it needs to be at the right angles if it's not at the right angles then it can be hard to see you can see it right there in the middle that white stickers and that's how you can tell if your phone has been in contact with water or not so it will be like something like this right here so you're looking at that down there somewhere that, what, that bit's right there. I mean, you can um, see it, slightly see it right there. That's down there, that white, bit, that white bit. That's where it will tell you, okay? So, very similar to this uh, older model. If you look through at an angle, you should be able to see the white stickers right here. And that's it. Thank you for uh, watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos now it is very useful um, to actually be able to find out if the phone has been in contact with water uh, for example if we are purchasing a second hand device and sometimes uh, often uh, sometimes people uh, will sell it because uh, they know that the phone has been in contact with water and it can be very expensive to repair sometimes you can't even repair it because it's just way um, too much damage uh, on the board itself so it is beyond repairable and people will still try to sell it so that's why it's always a good idea that you check to see if the phone or if the device has been water damaged or in contact with water uh, before you go ahead and purchase the device and uh, that's it thank you for watching